It's hard to imagine risking your entire life to cross the border illegally, but for thousands of people from Central America and Mexico, the risk is worth it if it means they'll get a chance to live in the United States. For border cities like El Paso, there's been an influx of migrants crossing illegally. News West 9 Sammy Steele joins us live from the border near El Paso with details on why. Sammy. Good evening, Crystal. Just on the other side of this border, which you can see here behind me lit up, thousands of people are seeking asylum. Now today, Republican Congress members discovered that most of those seeking asylum are children. This is the reality for many at the border in El Paso. Waiting in a holding facility in a foreign country with little to no idea of what's next. It's so sad to see we, we saw over a thousand kids today uh, in the facility. It's, it's just incredibly sad. Their parents aren't with them. They're basically being dropped off at the border and being told to go find a border patrol agent on the north side of the border. Dylan Corbett's worked with migrants for years at the Hope Border Institute in El Paso in the city of Juarez. He believes the alternative for these families is much worse. I, I, I'd love to know what the alternative is. Is he saying that we should that we should dump children back uh, in in places like Ciudad Juarez? That we should send children from Central America, children who have risked everything to come to the U.S.-Mexico border, seeking safety, seeking freedom? Is he saying that we would rather send them back to situations of insecurity in Mexico where they will be trafficked? According to Border Patrol agents, on average, 200 people are apprehended at the El Paso border a night. The reality is uh, that as long as you have families who uh, do not believe that their children have a future, a future where their children have an opportunity to work, a future where they have an opportunity to be safe, you're going to see migration to the U.S.-Mexico border. But we have never seen border migration mixed with COVID-19. The pandemic's created strict capacity regulations and many of the facilities are overflowing. There isn't a crisis here at the border. There's a situation that we need to manage. There's a challenge that we can rise to, um, but we have to make sure that we don't politicize it because people's, people's lives, we're talking about people's lives. And, and when we politicize it, we've seen what happens. We've seen, I've gone to funerals of people who have died in this river. I've gone to, to funerals of children who have died trying to cross this river. Uh, we, don't, we don't need any more death and suffering. We need solutions. As to what exactly those solutions are, well, we still don't know. Those answers uh, are something that both sides of the Rio Grande are hoping that the Biden administration answers sometime this week. Reporting live in El Paso, I'm Sammy Steele. Back to you, Crystal.